YouTube has 10 new features for creators, Facebook experiments with 10 second video views for advertisers, and Google Plus is in the news for 10 seconds. All that and more coming up on Social Marketing Cluster Facts. Welcome to Social Marketing Cluster Facts. I'm Leah Scudamore from AIM Clear in our studio in Duluth, Minnesota. Every week we're going to cover the social scene in five minutes or less to keep you up to date on what's happening, so let's dive in. Facebook is testing 10 second video views for advertisers. According to Adweek, advertisers can start paying for videos with the cost per view rate that kicks in after a watcher has been looking at the video for 10 seconds. This makes the ad seemingly more valuable for advertisers who want to pay for qualified views. Facebook considers a view to last 3 seconds compared to YouTube's 30 second rule making it look like Facebook videos are getting more views. This is a problem however because those 3 second videos don't necessarily mean people are watching the ads. Also, Facebook changed its logo on Tuesday for the first time since 2005. Did you notice? Neither did I. And a huge week for YouTube. They announced 10 new features and improvements for creators and commenters alike. On Monday, they announced in a blog post some pretty exciting features to make YouTubers' lives easier. The most notable is a better commenting system that ranks comments based on their quality and likability. YouTube says dislike comments have dropped 30% in the new system. Here's a breakdown of all 10 features. The aforementioned comment ranking system, subscriber notification, easier access to subscriber feeds, a faster and easier use creator studio, easier page management on mobile, more cards for channels, 360 degree videos, Damn. improved live streaming, a new creator specific community, and 50 new lessons for their creator community. Holy facts, guys. A California judge ruled LinkedIn's reference search available to premium subscribers does not violate the Fair Credit Reporting Act. The decision comes a year after a class action lawsuit was filed against LinkedIn, alleging that the reference search function violated the FCRA. To learn more, check out the FCRA link to Wikipedia in the description. Last December, Instagram said it purged millions of fake accounts in an effort to give marketers more numbers. Now, Italian security researchers say that 8% of Instagram accounts appear to be run by computer-generated bots. The researcher assessed that the likelihood of the account being fake by how often it posted content and by the ratio of accounts to followers followed. On average, spam bots followed 41 users for each follower compared to the real users with a one-to-one -one ratio. You know, like I follow you and you follow me. Two big things happened for Twitter on Tuesday. Their stock closed above $36 according to CNBC's Fast Money due to rumors and speculation that Facebook is in talks about buying their smaller rival. Also, Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey became interim CEO on Wednesday as CEO Dick Costello stepped down. Ladies and gentlemen, there's life. No crickets this week. We've got some G Plus news for you. Google Plus removed brand posts from their knowledge graph cards. According to Google Representative, the change was made to provide more consistency within the results. Google Plus posts now show up next to the other social media network links. Search Engine Land has this Salesforce before and after example. Take a look. And in our last story this week, in a Q&A with Mark Zuckerberg, the social media mogul talked about how he believes the future of technology is on its way. How do you ask? He predicts that there will be tech that gives us the ability to send emotions and feelings to someone just by thinking. Mark, you sweetheart. And that does it for this episode of Social Marketing Cluster Facts. Have a happy 4th, everybody. And for our foreign fans, have a great weekend. You can find the links to this week's articles below. Be sure to check out our AIMCLUE blog for more of what we do. I'm Leah Scudamore from AIMCLEAR. We look forward to seeing you soon.